Ich I'm Abdullah Mohamed Juma. I'm managing editor of Zanzibar Leo newspaper, which is in Zanzibar, Tanzania, East Africa. I'm in the US as a part of the ICFJ journalist team who come here to report and observe how the medias are taking care of or are reporting the election in the US. Zanzibar Leo, which is Zanzibar Daily, in Zanzibar Leo Sunday. This is for the Sunday, so make it the color. And this is Zanzibar Daily. My name is Moizino Lopez de Araju. I'm the editor in chief of uh, Timor Post, a daily newspaper in Dili, Timor Leste. The motto of the, the paper is to keep, uh, to build unity, justice, and democracy. We publish in four languages Tetum. The local language is the biggest uh, pages and Bahasa Indonesia, English, and Portuguese for languages. Muzi and uh, Abdul are here to uh, see how uh, American journalists uh, cover elections. Now, the elections we have here are different from the ones in their own country. Uh, though they may be democracies, it's a different form. But how we cover them, how politicians interrelate w relate to uh, reporters is different uh, from their own countries. I'm Abdullah from Tanzania. Oh, welcome. Thank I'm you. Busy from East Timor. And you came here for election to see. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Great. Well, they, you're seeing it some, grassroots right here. Right. Yeah. Right. The media in, in my country, they are trying to do best, but they are facing a lot of dangers and threat in reporting the election, particularly during the campaign in the election day itself, even after the result, because. The problem is the people still, they consider election as a, as a fight or as a conflict. So you know reporting in su such kind of, of conflict is a problem for journalists. So you have to be very careful when reporting elections. Journalists yeah. from Tanzania. Hi. Nice to meet you. Here we are among the 50 journalists who are visiting in the US to see the election. As I saw during the McCain really. I could see supporters from Obama and McCain, they came together in one place to defend, you know, uh, the candidate. Actually, it was, you know, McCain uh, campaign, but the Obama came, uh, supporter could come there. This is so amazing for me. Uh, it cannot happen in my country because in my country, if, you know, the supporters from two candidates came there, they would, you know, they would attack each other. They would fight each other. We, we are among the 50 journalists who were, was brought here by ICFJ oh, to yeah. cover yes. the election. Yes, because the ICFJ yeah. uh, was something that my husband and Tom Winship started yeah, many yeah. years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Told us and we did some wonderful traveling to, oh, right, for the four of us to different parts of the world. So lucky you. We live a pretty cushy life here. And when we see somebody who's uh, uh, reports that uh, coming home to work one day he finds that the, his building's been blown up or that uh, he, uh, in covering elections, he can't leave his office for the week prior to the election for fear of being beaten up on the streets. Well, that's pretty sobering. And I think it uh, causes us here in our relatively uh, uh, mundane uh, environment to recognize that there is a mission to journalism and it's a tough one.
think these people they are really doing it objectively and they have plan i like their plan how to cover election mm, how to cover those rallies mm, the campaign and even the day of election and after election what i like is their program on after election mm. because after election we know who is the senator here who is the member of the house who is the president who is the vice president and then there the thing they plan to do i love the thing they plan to do because those things they plan to do is kind of uh, looking the expectation of what those candidates who won are going to provide to the people. I think that's a good uh, approach. I like it. I think I'm going to use it when I come back home. And now we realize that, you know, journalism means Timor, through Timor Post. We really help our democracy process. We could, you know, bring people come together to debate, to give their opinion through the newspaper. Uh, especially during the uh, election process. For me, when they sent to King Sentinel, I think I learned 50-50. Hmm? 50 for how the media are covering the election and 50% how the newspaper's organization is working. The management of the newspaper, the newsroom scene, how they work. And I think I, the advertisement, I plan to show my media partners in that the media have a big and important role to play in building a democratic society.